go. Oh, hurry everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Hey, some Lieutenant Rakir at your service. Uh, the music of this game and Katana Zero are just such a vibe, huh? Yeah, I like this one the most. Uh, <clears throat> this game has only a, like, a few amounts... I, this might be the only full-length track on the entire o OST, so of course most of the effort went into this with it. But yeah, it, it is just really good. Uh, and yeah, yeah, welcome back to Return of the Oprah Din. Oh, I mean, it is. I would not mind if they made if this team made more games like this. I'm not entirely sure if it's a team or just one person because on I believe on the intro there or the menu and on Steam it is said it is uh, the developer and publisher or at least the developer are marked as Lucas Pope. So uh, I'll have to double check, but most of this at the absolute least is one person's work. Yeah. Do if you're going to be very, very technical, there is multiple people that have made this game, if you count in the voice actors. True. But for most of the programming and such, uh, unless this one person just is just an absolute master voice actor, but I very much doubt that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, last time... We, well, we got the last of all the memories that we can visit, so we should now, or we have, all the information we have that we can get on the ship. So now all we need to do is start identifying people. So yeah. You were clubbed by Brennan. Uh, but who are you? We have one person here who escaped. Um... Let's see, you're standing... Judging by the hat, you are an officer. We have the captain, we have the first mate, we have the second mate. Uh, where is the third mate? We have first mate, some steward, second mate, third steward. Does that make you the fourth? We, you are all dressed the same, so you are likely the fourth uh, mate... <clears throat> the fourth mate steward. You were shot by a gun. You are likely Davy James. Uh, but who are you then? You are someone's steward or mate. Let's see, first mate, surgeon, purser. Oh, it's... my brain went somewhere else when you said that name. Oh. Davy Jones. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, when the name is said is written in cursive like that, it is an, an unconfirmed. You were killed by an unknown attacker at the moment. You, if you are who I think you are, you are one correct fate. You are already confirmed. You are confirmed. No, you are not confirmed. Drowned by a terrible beast. So that should be two. So, let's see. Confirmed. Confirmed. Unknown midshipman, unknown stewards, unknown stewards, second mate is confirmed, first mate, third mate, um, hmm, we don't have a fate for you, but we don't have you, we don't have you depicted as dying at any point. So, what happens to you, then? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I should probably ask this... Mate. I should probably ask this, it sounds... I got reminded of a uh, thing of this uh, due to a certain D&D joke. Oh. Uh, what is... Using this clock, we're doing a, a kind of form of necromancy? More like a... Conjure... Not divination. Also, let me turn my fan on. Uh, Manser means diviner. Hmm. Yes, necromancer literally means death diviner. That's 
for a naked muscle of Richard Ross. They wrote, they asked the dead for things of the past and future and advice that they okay. let them rest again. Uh, let's see. So, hmm. I'm, I'm sure we are raising the dead or if we are just going back, no, not going back in time. Let's see. When is the last time that you are seen? There's unholy captives here. There's the doom here that you are. Hmm. I know this did. You were last seen during the doom, but we are not. You are not seen dying at any at any point. So they just up and vanished at some point. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. This unknown soul is alive in Africa. Let's see. Who are you? You are someone's mate or steward. You were knifed. Hmm. Oh, wait. Unknown clubs? Wait, is that our... No, you were okay, no, This is a form of necromancer for... There's some memories from the ghosts. True. Let's see. You are still unknown to us. There's a lot of contact stuff that I'm absolutely missing. But for the moment... Let's see. You... You are dressed peculiarly. The gunner. Yeah, we, we, if we can't figure out who you are, we can't. Fi Though, hmm, I'm guessing by the fact that we have the second mate, we have the first mate, and likely the third mate here with Martin. Are you the fourth mate then? John. Oh, yes, yes, they are. Okay, three correct. Which ones? John Davies. And, okay, Timothy, shot by Edward Nichols, and the, par the purser was indeed drowned by a terrible beast. Okay, that means that the other baits that I have, quote-unquote, locked in, are wrong. So, let's look through. You are incomplete. You are incomplete. Incomplete. Unknown attacker, though, since we now know who this is, we can figure out, we can set your fate. So we need to aim at the head. You were shot by the fourth mate, so that is one certain again. Uh, then, okay, you are not Volkov? Or let, oh. Are you set? Oh, yeah, you're already set. We have made a mistake. Uh, you were attacked by someone. Unknown attacker. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Our entire open part there. Unknown seaman drowned. The only one of those left. You are unknown, but you were exploded. Hmm. Another unknown blasted, unknown crushed, the artist ice crushed. Cream. Hmm? I said I'm gonna grab some ice cream. What's okay. Some? Okay, so this this one is wrong. Or yeah, this one is wrong. You were you were shot by whom then? Let's see. Um, memories perished in Soldiers of the Sea. Where is that one? Show memories on deck map. Yeah, there is where they died. I think I know who did it. Hmm. Okay, let's I head out from I here. Who did it? Oh, the butler. It's always the butler. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, we need to get into the ba back for the moment. Who shot them then? Hmm. We might have to start guessing at who actually landed the shot then. Uh, the monsters? Hmm. Yeah, they were shot by a gun, I believe. But let's go see. Okay. We have a hard time seeing, or... Let's see, we might have to listen for a bit. We thought it was them, since they shot the beast and it went straight through. Let's see, that is one of the mates. Or... Hmm. Or were they actually... No, the shot seems to go through. Judging by the particle trail. So who is that with the pants and the bald head? We can't check them from here. And we can't what move around. Ball, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I really can't tell from this distance. Hmm. Like, they look so bald. Familiar. They look... Either they aren't wearing, wearing a shirt, or they're wearing a white one, or just a light one. Hmm. Okay. Let's go back to you. Anyone bald? You, perhaps? Nathan Peters. Are you the one that shot? Hmm. Let, let's put in Nathan Peters for the moment. Actually, let's see. Um, let's go to the start. Let's see. Confirmed. Confirmed. All confirmed. Let's see. Unknown, drowned by a terrible beast. Let's see, are you the third Russian? Let's see. Um, Alorcus Nikisha, maybe? Let's see, let's set you as that for the moment. And let's see, not unholy captives, I think. Uh, soldiers of the sea. No. Okay, we're... I am taking a guess with this. Here. And then... Let's see. You shot by Nathan Peters. Uh, where is the... Okay, that is wrong then, or at least one of these two is wrong. Hmm. We also have unknowns on the list. Yep. Now those those are fillers to narrow it down. So if we know that whoever it was was ah. a, a a top man, for example, we can set that in. Um, oh, okay, okay. Where? Going to unmark. Yeah, let's unmark you at the moment. So I think we should be able to identify the third Russian during one of the sleeping, uh, during the, one of the memories with the hammocks. Uh, let's see. You are the unknown midshipman. How many midshipmen do we have left? We have two stewards, the captain steward and the ship steward. Uh, Topman, launch of seaman. We need the carpenter and the carpenter's mate still. Hmm. Ship's steward and the captain steward. What does the ship's steward mean? Let me see at the end. Yeah, that might give us a clue what to look for. Let's see. Stewards, servants to a ship, to an officer or high rank. 
Okay, that still doesn't say about who the ship's steward would work for. Uh, could you put a Google on that, perhaps? And let's see. We have only one topman remaining. So that is likely you, Lewis Walker. Hmm. Let's see. Unknown midshipman. We have three midshipmen remaining, so that is not going to be done by power of elimination at the moment. Hmm. Wait. Okay. We have. I'm pretty sure this one is correct. This w is, I believe, the gunner's mate, since we've seen them with the gunner. So that would be one fate. Uh, two fates. That means that we have yeah, we have something wrong somewhere. Hmm. Let's see. Can we check this memory? I need to bookmark these and show on deck. Yeah, that is where you died. You were also in the doom. Oop, not. What was the hmm. third one that you showed up in then? Let's see, over here, when the artist was getting crushed. Hmm. Uh, crushed and squeezed like a, a toothpaste. Oversized grape. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at the map for the moment. If we can identify the carpenter and the carpenter's mate. Let's see, purser's office, surgery, captain's cargo, passenger cargo, bosun's store, lazarette, which is still sealed off. <clears throat> Pardon. Uh, let's see, second, fourth. Where is the carpenters? Midshipman. Gunner store, carpenter store. Okay. So if we go to Unholy Captives number three there, um, we might be able to get. Oh, we, oh. Rose itch. <coughs> if we can peek into Bless the you. carpenter's place, thank you, we may be able to see who is in there. Here we have the, the gunner, the bosun's mate, both confirmed. You are the bosun, and you must be the gunner's mate, because we've seen you with him plenty of time. Even though you are pretty old to be the secondary officer, you are the first mate. The fourth mate, now confirmed. You, we've come confirmed. You are still unknown to us, but we know how you died. It's Nathan Peters again. An unknown spirit, but I don't think they died from that. Let's see. Uh, because you appear in quite a... Okay, you okay, you did die here, it seems. Or later. Let's see. Which one is are we on here? Hmm. We are interested in the carpenter's place. So if you can go down from this one, we might be able to get a peek in there. Okay, that's not going to happen. Lars. What's going on? Stay back. It's already in the neck. Hey. Come on, boss. You bled out later. Hey, and yeah, nothing else that we can really see here. Hmm. Hmm. 
Since it's locked, we can't check any further. Do we know? Do we don't know how many seamen? A, a bunch that we don't know. Yeah, we're, we're going to need to check in on the hammocks. I think that is how we are going to be able to narrow things down some more. Uh, these are the two from the disease. <laughs> you, we have confirmed. Oh, round one. It only leaves you as the last Russian. Oh, there we go. Let's see then. Yep, yeah, drowned by a terrible beast. And yeah, shot by John Davies. And the last of the Topmen. Okay, and the second to last to die on the ship, actually. Okay, that is six more already. 45. Okay. Well done. And now that we have a few more... Actually, um, let's see, you are someone's steward. You are. We know that the captain steward appeared in one of the memories. I thought we identified him from there already. Let's see, that is from the foot behind the staircase somewhere. That is down below, I believe. Here, actually. Yeah. Uh, Keep pressure here. You? You really? Let's see. You are the Captain Stewart. Okay. You show up in three memories, two other than this. Hmm. You, yeah, you were killed by Philip Dahl. But who are you? You are dressed oddly. Is this perhaps the carpenter? We have the surgeon, who is confirmed. We have the fourth mate, who is not yet confirmed. But I think once we... Yeah, once we go to his memory, then we can identify the shooter that is likely confirmed. The surgeon's mate, also confirmed. Captain... Yeah. Let's see. That is the artist. The butcher. The gunner's mate. And actually, did we check up here? Don't really think we checked further up here at last. We have an yeah, unknown who was spiked. So. And we keep doing that too early. Another unknown who was spiked. Martin, I believe. Yes. We are <laughs> our very Riker from Star Trek looking seaman who is also still unknown to us. Just a bunch of unknown seamen. I'm not gonna say it. Okay, in your death. You're unholy captives. Oh, hello, hello, hello. We overlooked this. You are either the carpenter or the carpenter's mate. Okay. It kind of makes... Th How did we not realize he had an apron on? The apron should have been a giveaway. An apron can mean many things. But yeah, we were too focused on all of this to look over here. So, yeah. my guess is that you are the carpenter. Winston Smith. And that you are the carpenter's mate. 
Okay. If we can get one more fate insured, then we can get those confirmed, or they are the other way around. So, not looking at the... Judging by the, the error that this would be, my reasoning is that they're not going to put the uh, colored person in the high or, or official location, or position. But... William died here, the artist, the butcher, Riker again. Let's see. Hmm, he's hanging with these bunch. So he doesn't really look to fit in. We can very much assume that his position is similar to them, likely. The cook and butcher. But I don't think he is from the same region. The cook and butcher. That sounds like a name for a pub. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Uh, let's <laughs> see. I'm guessing you are either John Naples or one of the two Englishmen. Hmm. Let's see. You is, are confirmed. Maba is really hard not to confirm. <clears throat> you are confirmed. Everyone here is confirmed. Let's see. Yeah, I think pretty much everyone here is now confirmed on this image except for this batch. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to take a stab then. You are likely... You are a seaman. Are you... Hamadou Diom? Hmm. I'm guessing not then. Unless I have the other ones around. Oh, you, you could be Abraham Akbar. Or do I actually have... Do I actually have these two the other way around then, perhaps? Let's try that. Are you actually the carpenter? And then you the carpenter's mate? No? Hmm. Okay, then I have it wrong. It's with all three of them. Let's see. It sets you as the carpenter's mate and the carpenter again. Then we need to find someone else. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't want that. to. I don't want to keep randomly guessing. So I'm yeah. you as unknown. And not... As you know, the uh, ship's right is from India. Let's have a little look through the remaining names. We have three midshipmen. We have five seamen. We have the ship steward from India. Zunti Shatnati. Let's see, do we have someone in uh, the India looking that we haven't confirmed, perhaps? Hmm. Let's see. I very much doubt that it is you. Then again... Let's give it on a gamble for the moment. Uh, it's a very, very long shot. Yeah. I'm, I'm just putting you as unknown. Okay. Let's do a bit less guesswork and look for deaths that were caused by other people. If we can now identify the attackers, that means that there's more names that we can well, scratch off the list. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. You are unknown, but you were killed by Dahl. You are not the carpenter, apparently, as I thought you were. Are you are you perhaps the ship steward? No. Hmm. His his dress seems a bit of more official than the others near uh, than the others around. The Carpenter, Unknown Steward, and yeah, unknown, we, we just don't know who killed you. Spirit, hmm. Let's see. 
Wait. Actually, we have a bunch of... These are not stewards. These are midshipmen. Since there's only one steward left. So, midshipmen. And you are a steward, though. Hmm. Uh, so, hmm. I still wonder if we should re-watch some of them, like the one where we actually hear someone speak Swedish. Yeah, I think we already identified that one. Uh, let's bookmark you. If we can identify your attacker, then we might be able to... Uh, yeah, that is up there. And we might be able to scratch up another name. It could be entirely that I have some names wrong entirely. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can find down below. I saw something. Hmm? Go down again. There you go, and down the hall. Looking for... Oh, it's just light. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Have we checked each and every one of these rooms? Yes, we have. On this one. This one is a storeroom. Where the uh, stowaway is still. You'd think they would have noticed the stench coming from one of the barrels. But then again, with how many deaths there have been on this ship, they might have assumed that it was just lingering miasma. Because that was the major theory of the day. Of what... Uh, disease came from and such <laughs> until John freaking snow who shares a name with a <laughs> a name with a Game of Thrones character who repeatedly is <laughs> memed about that they know not this one move quick okay you okay Leonid Volkov okay Volkov Leonid Leonid Let's see. One rest. Then Volkov. We do have your... Yes, we have you confirmed. So this is now... Very likely 100% certain. We have the captain with the warning shots. We have you. Who is confirmed. And we have Brennan. And... Yeah, the first mate, William. Anything we can see down here? That's the, con the conspirators. Fourth mate was confirmed. Gunner's mate. And the bosun who died. And you. This midshipman. Actually, we can likely identify your attacker now. Actually, I think, I think it was him. We'll need to check... We'll need to check another memory for that, though. Uh, let's see. Yeah. You were shot. So we have no use of that memory at the moment. Or at that info, at least. But maybe we can see something useful in this memory. Uh, blocks. Right after... A few seconds at best. And yeah, <laughs> mid leap. You are the gunner's mate, Ola's waiter, Wyatter. So that is the one who attacked you. Now we run. just need to pin a freaking name to you. Hold on. I th we have one fate now that is absolutely certain, or very likely certain, and we have to cap. The carpenters, or do we have them the other way around again? So if we set you as the carpenter's mate, and you as the carpenter, there we go. Yeah, they. Okay, that's surprising. Again, considering the age. Huh. Huh. 
What a progressive shit, perhaps. <laughs> okay. That's 48. A few more to go. Though we have a section that we cannot confirm. Okay. That is all we can glean. Glain, glimmer, glance. I, <laughs> I accidentally mixed the two, I think. Again, you. Put something away. There's three midshipmen that we have left. And again, who and what is the ship's stewards? I guess, are they just a backup steward or something? Wait, Let me see. Did, did we have so many position of a quartermaster? Uh, I think that that would be the bosun. Let's see, Martin. We, your fate is unknown. We just do not see you die. I believe. Hmm. So, let's see. Your name. Wait. Your name is correct. Uh, did you you vanished at some point? Uh, memories. Let's see, bookmark. And then we just go through all of these until we find the final one. Let's see, the doom. Is where you were last seen. It's but you are not depicted. Hmm. Okay, that must mean that he must be one of the unknown fates that we cannot uh, solve at the moment. He is one of the final ones in the yeah unknown section, so he just cannot be confirmed at the moment. I think. Uh, let's see. The ship steward. Do we have... We don't have a death for you, so I think you are an unknown to us as well still. I, I'm just going to... I'm just going to Google it right now. Just... Uh, uh, ship... Uh, no, not... Ship as in possessive. There. Steward. Let's see. Organizes the feeding of guests and crew members by offering menus, assisting kitchen staff, and serving where necessary. Okay. Oh. So basically, they're the cook stewards. Actually. Wait, we have seen someone helping the cook. Yep, so we're going to the cow's memory. Or... As you could call it, the secret cow level of this game, perhaps. <laughs> because Diablo and cow levels... Yeah, no, actually, uh, out at Hillian, Diablo might not be the first one to have done that. Okay. There. But another yeah. game you may be familiar with may have done it first. Okay. We have the butcher. Actually, now I'm not sure. Which came first? Diablo one oh. uh, or MDK. Uh, I'm sure, but I'm MDK got it from uh, got it from Earthworm Jim, I believe. There's three. There's three candidates again. So we have only one. With that, so are you our ship stewards? Yeah, let, let me see. One of the people around the earth with the cow sound Scottish. Hmm. Or I'm mishearing it, perhaps. Let's see. Transcripts, haven't used these in a bit. Take him to the carpenters, get him wrapped and see to the last rites. Okay. Hit her there, one swing, go through the skull and stun her brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Uh, here, yeah. Then we have Charlie. 
who is likely... You are likely Charlie. And he is the one cutting the throat. He is the one stunning. So, this is our... Well, this is the one who is Scottish, O'Farrell. And you... Are you are called Charlie? Uh, are you Charles Herstic? Okay, I'm I'm guessing that is Charles Herstic. That should be a second fate, correct now. Again, bloody Riker. <laughs> he even has that bloody open shirt. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's take a look at him. Again, I'm from here, without that, but I feel like... He has that sash as well. Wait. He has a sash? What? Sash. Or belt Doing or this whatever era. you call that. And look at the pants and shoes. Hmm. I think the picture is been tricking us. I think we found... Oh, wait, we already found him again for India. Now, we don't have him confirmed that, though. But what uh, Who he... did we mark? He might be for India. Let's... Yeah, let's set you as such. That's for the moment. Hmm. Still unsure. We need some... Oh, we need yeah. a memory where food is being prepared. And we saw... We have seen one or two of those. Uh, um, At the very I start. Know. Loose I cargo. Know when we... And remember when we saw both. I remember when we saw both in the kitchen. Surprise, both! Oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 oh uh, hello. Uh, uh, <laughs> hello, Marco. Uh, hello, oh. Nashi Legacy. Thank you for the raid. So, <laughs> thank you very much. So, what the uh, heck? Okay, a raid, like, raid, raid message as well. Uh, yeah, welcome and hello, Raiders. Uh, I'm Captain Mahillion. Over there is my uh, co-host and friend, yeah, Drakir. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we're playing Return of the Obra Dinn. Hopefully we'll be finishing this game tonight. And, yeah, we uh, we typically stream uh, a variety of things. Uh, typically one bigger game in the, is through the main week, and then we do a bunch of side stuff in the weekends. And uh, let's, let's actually read that. Let's see. Objection. Neshi and crew are here to raid you. <laughs> okay, you need to spam it that much. Uh, let's see. Okay, Marco came here with some friends. <laughs> okay, typically you have me raid other people, so... <laughs> uh, welcome and thank you all the same again, everyone. Um, I hope you'll enjoy the show. <laughs> yeah, thank um, so very much. And what was uh, I to... Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> We need to go to the memory where someone got squeezed like a toothpaste tube. Uh, not that one, I think. Let's assume. Yeah. Uh, the, the general gist of this g the gist of this game is that we are playing CSI uh, 19th century with the magic watch, trying to find out how everyone aboard this ship died. Not and, 19th. Uh, yeah, very many died among, like, this. 60 people started on this ship, and it returned with none. You are one of the Formosans. Yeah, let's see, Marco, I've come to turn the table. But yeah, uh, how is everyone doing tonight? Let's see, you are still unknown, then. Hmm. We have you over here. We had a memory where someone was working with food, I believe. And that would likely be our ship steward, aka the cook's assistant. Yeah, but the, I remember when we found a guy that got squeezed. Yeah. They were in the middle of cooking, looked over and saw him getting squeezed. I might have... I must have missed that. Uh, let's see, Nashi Legacy, good, good. Yourself? We're doing pretty well, I'd say. A lot better than all the people on board this ship, at the absolute certain. Like this unlucky bastard who got crushed in a can. Or a can of... Technically a barrel is a wooden can? <laughs> no, you are stretching it! Oh wait, there's... Yeah, there, two people died here. So we're just going back to the same place. 
Okay, who squeezed him up? I'll, I'll go show, Marco. Uh, someone big, grabby, and uh, giving plenty of hugs. Uh, let's see, where was it? I believe one up and to the front here somewhere. Also known as one of Helion's pets. Yeah, they got squeezed while squeezing one out themselves. And, okay, yeah, you are working with food, though you are confirmed as one of the stewards. Hmm. And here are two of our un... Actually, no, you are a topman. You are unknown. Hmm. Let's see. We have you confirmed and you confirmed, Martin. He has a very distinguishable, distinguish, yeah, distinguishable beard. Let's see. You, Wei Li, the top, topman. And then we have our unknown here. Um, hmm. Let's see. But, uh, yeah, I think you can take a good guess as to what happened with a bunch of these people. Oops, I'm you are the fourth mate. You... Wait. Then are you Davy James, the fourth mate steward? Hmm. Oh, and, and chaos soon to mate. begin. Yeah. Jump in further with this one. Just to check things out. Let yeah, they on. were clubbed by Peters. Yep. Yep, Lars Lind. Along with, again, this unknown seaman and the purser. Uh, you were drowned by a beast, yeah. Um, furthermore, we can't see anything in this memory, so we'll have to move somewhere else. Also, you're using the wrong letter there, I think, uh, Marco. You're you're looking for Q, not G. Let's see. You are the cook who struck dead. Actually, can we find the ship steward through this memory? Let's see. Oh, uh, you want to read the chat, Helian? Uh, let's see. Nasty legacy. We'll need to raid and run as it is 4.30 a.m. Okay. Hope the rest of the stream goes well. Hope to see you drop by. Game looks interesting. Also have a good rest of the weekend. Uh, take care and toodles. Okay. Good to see you and have a good rest, Nashi. You, Nashi, you definitely deserve it if it is 4.30 a.m. Yeah, great to well, Nashi. And thank you for the raid. You are confirmed. <laughs> you are not likely confirmed. Because you're with another steward. And again, just a bunch of unknowns. Peter's here. And this one doesn't give us much on who everyone is. You are likely the captain steward. You are likely Charles Herstick. You are hey, wait, likely confirmed. Look at him. Hmm? Oh, I mean? It Different? Wait... Is he a ship steward? Hmm... I think this is the midshipman because he was called Charlie. Unless there is another oh. Charles? Let's see, Alexander... Thomas... Peter... Wait, ain't Charles usually the nickname for Charlie? Not the other way around? I don't think so. Uh, let's see... Again, this unknown. Let's see. Wait, what? I, I think you want to read the chat here. Uh, let's see, Marco. You actually won the raid through Spin the Wheel and were the last to survive. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, lucky. Oh, big uh, gods. Again, we... Hmm. We have so many of these stewards with the same type of clothing. Are you a steward? Are you one of these? Hold on a second. Are you the ship stewards? 
Hmm. Did we have a name to you already? Or from the dress, I think this is a steward. That these three also are similarly dressed, except for this one. So, are you a steward? Like we have three stewards left to identify. You are. Hmm. Let's see. One steward, likely. You are confirmed. Yeah, we're, we're down to... Uh, we have run through every memory that we can find on the ship. So with all of that, we need to identify the people who are left. Um, and they only get confirmed in sets of three. So if we have this one correct, as well as two others... Then we will get confirmation on if they are actually uh, the pre the people who we think they are. Hmm. Let's see. The third mate is as good as confirmed with Martin here, since we had him. He was directly addressed as Martin. He he is standing right next to the third mate Stewart. So the bunch other stewards are right there. You are the fourth mate steward. Wait, are you sure of something? Fourth. Is the is the cook in one of these pictures? It's actually, I don't think Philip Dahl is in any of them. And let's see, we are you, Zungi, since you are dressed like a steward. Hmm. And let's see. I don't know if the cook is in that picture itself. Uh, can we just brute force this? Technically speaking, but that would take a lot of gambling. Like just rotating through names and such. And again, since it's done in three, we would be unable to get... <clears throat> we would be unable to see who specifically is who. Uh, we have you as good as confirmed. Hmm... Okay. Let's see. Are there any people who were who, of who we have not identified the attacker yet? We have Charles, likely burned to death. You are, um, yeah. We still we haven't been able to identify who attacked you or actually accidentally shot you. That is, though it does it does mark who was present. Wait. Hold on. Okay, I think I misjudged who it was. Okay, this this is the first time this actually we uh, we actually use this, but we know that the whoever shot the rifle that pierced through the beast and killed him was bald. So the only person here who is shown as being bald is the bosun's mate, Charles Minor. So were you attacked killed by Charles Minor? Yes, they were. There we go. Okay, that should be 51 fates confirmed, I believe. Yeah, and that was Charles. I probably should have been able to put his name on a lot or sooner. And there we go. Davy James alive in Africa. I believe we can confirm six more before we reach everything we can. Yeah, and I heard a ambulance in your background. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Unknown soul, knifed. Hmm. You are one of the midshipmen, likely. So you are either Peter Milroy or Thomas Lank. Let's put you in as Peter for the moment. It is a gamble. But that would be one fate currently confirmed. Again, an unknown seaman of which we have a bunch of them. I'm guessing you are either Abraham Akbar or Mahadun Diom. Let's set you as that for the moment. And let's see. Unknown steward. It rather like a unknown midshipman. Hmm. Mahadun Diom. Okay. One of these three is wrong. Didn't, didn't someone say... Last time that was in Africa? Yeah. A possible uh, French colony? 
Let's see. I'm just going to put in names at the moment. Uh, Alexander Boost or George Shirley. Nope. We have a bunch of gambles, but not enough of them are accurate. Let's see. You are very off. You are very... <clears throat> this one has a very noticeable appearance. Hmm. Another yeah, unknown... The shin. I'm just... All of these names are gambles at the moment. Let's see. Any further? Nope. Those are all the ones that we can guess at as of now. Let's see then. So we we don't have three correct at the moment. Let's see. Hmm. We still have Alexander Booth unknown as well. The third mate. And uh, Captain Stewart's fates are currently unknown of how he died. Hmm. Is it Mark is asking how many do we have left? How many are left? Let's see. One, two, and three, four, five, six. Six that we can confirm, or should be able to confirm. Let's see, you, we know your fate, but we don't know your identity. Hmm. I don't, you are likely the last midshipman because of your uniform. The rest are seamen. Hmm. So we need to, we need to find somewhere to pin a name to one to some of these to two of these to be exact. Wait, can you use that trick again? Uh, what trick? Uh, when everything turns a bit shadowy, but the face is light lit up. You have the ones who are nearby. That won't exactly tell us who people might be, but it would tell us who are nearby. Yeah, uh, that might be enough to give us clues. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do a bit of a gamble with the two dark-skinned people and guess that they are from Sierra Leone and uh, India. Hmm. Are you from India? No. Hmm. Yeah, it was a stretch of a gamble. Okay, let's find... So... Okay. Which memories did you appear in? Let's bookmark and show the memories on the deck. We have that one there that you appear. And that one there, and then two down here in loose cargo. Those loose cargo is as we've gotten that much as as we can from that. So bitter cold, or unholy captives. Let's go check out on a bitter cold scene then. So we need to go one down and across. Uh, exit is there. Let's see. Uh, Marco, I'm a video game gambler, so I'm all for it. How many are left? One in three chance that you guess identity. Uh, let's see. Where was it? No, not... You, memories, show... Okay. Right there. Yeah, in this one. You you are somewhere in this memory. <laughs> so we have you confirmed. Wait. 
Okay, they are somewhere here, but we can't see them exactly. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at the number tags. 58. Then we have 57. 55. 56. Hmm. Let's use the bookmarks. Let's see. 57, 59. 57. Let's check. Um, I should keep opening to different pages. Okay, the ones that we haven't identified yet are number 55, 57, 59. It's 55, 57. So are you, you are likely one of those two. 53 and 51 are identified. So you are either one you are one of these two most likely. Or this one. Let's see. Anything to see with the shoes, perhaps? That has been a useful identifier. Hmm. Actually, no, we could. You are not this one, I think, because you know, the skin color. I, you are darker than that, I believe. So you are not George Shirley. You are either Amadou or Alexander. Okay. Um, can we see enough of a leg for color? Hmm. Let's see. We have the Russians over there. 39, 40, 41. Or are are you 59? Like the fact th this place is very dark, so it's hard to tell with skin colors either. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, in this lighting, every skin looks the same. 55, 57. What is the difference between the two? Hmm. Actually, I th I think it is... I think it is you. Because of this one, the entire appearance is hidden. So, I am going to set you as Alexander Booth for now. Hmm... 55. Let's see. Is there anything about this person that we can see? Let's bookmark the memories and look for anything. Uh, let's see. You were killed by the stewards. Then next you appeared where during here with the falling cargo. Hmm. Let's go look for them. Yeah, they, there's just so many of them. Let's see. Marco says 55. Um, let's see. Location of the body. Need to go across and down. Hmm. We still have this unlucky bastard who just got blown into sea. You. <laughs> Topman, Stewart. Hmm. Let's see. Are you You no. Let's see. We need three, and we need three fates correct. It's from there. This is our older one, the one that we're looking at at the moment, who was killed by the captain steward. Hmm. 
Yeah, I, I have no idea how to guess at these people. Yeah, it, it, at this point, Marco, it is just guesswork. I think. Like, there's likely some things that we should be able to find, but they're so minute that we just I just can't seem to find them. I sort of wonder if you got in the Swedish uh, uh, captain steward wrong. Let's see. Hmm. No, oh, not that one. Uh, let's see. Third mate. Uh, actually, let's look here. England, Scotland. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Formosan, Sweden. Yeah, the the captain steward. We don't have their. We don't know how they perished, so we can't take any guesses at that. We don't have their death on records. We have. Oh, your. Wait, your identity is confirmed. But you were. Hold on. Peter Milroy knifed, but wait, what? Or can we not change? Uh, because this is linked to a name, but we can't change it from here. Um, John Naples, it's unidentified. Abraham. We have Alexander Booth, likely, who was spiked. Hmm. And we have George Shirley. I think at this point we really do just have to go and guess. I have no idea how to how to identify some of these wait, people. Wait, wait, wait. Did you have a hint guide? No, I did not. Uh, I was going to... Uh, I was thinking about bringing something up to take a guess with, but... I just... Hmm. Um, there was one other death by disease, but he died in the surgeon's place, so he far away from all of the <clears throat> far away from all of the hammocks, so no way to identify with that. There was another death where the hammocks were. Uh, let's see, you, you are just unknowns entirely. We just don't know how uh, you died. Um, yeah, I, I really think we just have to gamble with the names now. Just try and find who is who. Just rotate through. Let's put you as Abraham due to your clothes. You as Yom, maybe? Um, you are, um, you are the, a bigger guess at the moment. You are as good as confirmed, I believe, as the only one with the midshipman clothes. You, maybe John Naples. And we have the entire bargain chapter that is blank at the moment. Okay. Hmm. Who could, else could you be? You are not the captain steward. You are not the third mate. And besides, wait, are, do I have you two the other way around? Are you Thomas Lank? And then the other one. Uh, where is? Are you Peter Milroy? Oh, we've got enough rights. Let's see. Three more fates, correct. Which one was the correct gamble? Peter Milroy. Oh, oh, okay. So you were from India. Okay. So I was right. Yeah. Just the picture we saw him on the photo was... It, it was mis misleading because it didn't show the rest of his clothes. Yeah, and it, they made him almost... Let's yeah, see. you see his facial expression all that also became a bit misleading, but when we saw him stare, you recognize the beer style properly. Okay, then we have six left. Again, we have Martin, 
Yeah, we have the third mate and this captain steward who are just plain unknowns. So with these, we have to cycle through them until we get a hit. So who are you then? Any of these? Hmm. Like one of the seamen, we just don't have anything confirmed on at all of how they died. So this is entirely just shifting things around until we get some sort of a hit. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so one of these is possibly correct, but the other three are incorrect then. So are you perhaps... Oh, wait, we, are... we had you as 55 or 57. Let's set you as 55 for now then. And then we just go through this with another one until we get a hit or not. Oh, there we go. Yeah, at the end it's... It swaps to two fates. Yeah, you are John Naples, or were, and so I was right. That was Hamadou. Okay. Yeah, I, I just don't get how we are supposed to identify some of these people. And that means that we are down to two last ones. Okay. Philip, you... And then, uh, and uh, others. Are you Alexander Booth? And are you George? Oh, there we go. I actually got those right. <laughs> All currently solvable fates. So you were indeed George Shirley. Maybe we could have identified some of these through their accents, but I'm just not good at accents. Okay, last two that we could confirm, but there are still some unknowns. There's nothing left to do on the Oberdim. And with that, uh, we can exit the memory. And the game isn't over just yet. We have still a little bit more to do. But there is nothing more that we can do on the boat. And we should likely head out since the place... Is <laughs> there is a storm coming. So, let's uh, head out. Because we were asked to send this book back to its writer... ...when we would be done. Or when we would be able we to do go. what we could with it. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. Giving you time to head off. Sit down so you don't fall or out. Head off the boat in case you want to double check stuff. Not that you'd need to, since you'd only get that when, well, all of the fates will be sure. Thought, so, yeah, salt. Okay, it took a bit longer than I. <laughs> Thought would be needed, maybe. Actually, I don't remember that happening at all. I think it just faded to black and instantly went to here last time. Okay. The Honorable East India Company, insurance assessment for the good ship Oprah Din, victim of calamitous events at sea, prepared by the Company Office of Investigation. First page of 23. Let's see. Ship damaged in squall, Atlantic, sunk in storm, so it, well, it did sink. Falmouth, no, oh, the, that was the location. Payout claimed 20,000 pounds. Cargo, all cargo lost. Payout claimed 5,000. Cargo of the Crown, all cargo lost. Payout claimed for restitution. Then we have Captain Robert Wilknetler, who died by suicide. Criminal findings, murder of crewmate for estate forfeited to the Crown. William Hoskett, Hosket, First mate, shot by captain. Criminal findings, attempted mutiny, estate fines 25 pounds. 
that's how much it do. Okay, this is this is a lot more in modern time in money, but that doesn't seem that much. Um, Edward Nichols, the, the, the criminal findings, murder of crewmate two, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, and his estate was only fined one hundred. Again, I mean, that's modern actually a lot back then. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> but in to us, it looks like almost nothing. This looks like a, a small fine. <clears throat> okay, Martin Perot. Fate unknown. Findings of merit. Extraordinary valor. Exceptional performance of duties. Estate awarded outstanding wages and reward of 90 uh, pounds. John Davies. Fate clawed by H. Brennan. Criminal findings. Murder of crewmates. Estate fined 15 pounds. Uh, let's see. Marco, have you guys played the Walking Dead games? I have... I think I have showcased one of them. Uh, but I do... I have heard that Season 1 is the best. That Season 2 starts out good, but really starts to falter towards the end or something. Uh, Maybe I've because... Of the games. Yeah, that, that is what I'm talking about. There were two seasons of it. But it they made the games in seasons. Yep. Uh, let's see. Oh, or, well, they called it Seasons, at least. I think it was episodic release, but they... Hmm. Let's move on. Alfred Klestel, the bosun, torn apart by a beast, findings of merit, ex exceptional performance of duty, state warded out in the wages and uh, rewards. Uh, to the third, Charles Minor, murder of crewman one. Even though it was an accidental murder, these... Uh, <laughs> Uh, even though it, it, this death was accidental, they still, well, charged him as such. Not that we could add the details or such, not like we had, like, a, a camera to take a photo with. Um, expenses claimed 15 pounds. Unknown estate. Insurgent, fate alive. Findings of demerit. Abandonment of crew and vessel. Estate awarded outstanding wages of 50 pounds all the same. Okay. The surgeon strangled extraordinary uh, valor, awards stated wages, speared Winston Smith, speared by the beasts, extraordinary valor. Oh, Marcus Gibbs, the carpenter's mate, outstanding wages donated to pension fund. All right, uh, the cook, wages, O'Farrell. Extraordinary duty, awarded wages and rewards. Wolf, uh, wages and rewards. Rioter, murder of crewmate one and attempted mutiny, state fined. McKay, uh, abandonment of crew and vessel, but still awarded wages. Uh, wages, wages for Spratt and Dalton. Uh, Whittle, no claim made. Okay. Passcribe, passenger, knives, no claim made. Emily Jackson, murder of crewmate one, findings of demerit, abandonment, fined. Miss James Bird, fine for abandonment. Uh, Lim, no claim made. Sai, fate burned, murder of crewmate, estate unknown, expense claimed. Okay, ta -ta -ta -ta. I'll just. I'll just give a second of each on these for if anyone on the VOD wants to see them. Uh, let's see. Anything that stands out? Theft of cargo for Lee Hong. Okay. Find, find. Outstanding wages and reward donated a pension fund for MABA. Okay. Uh, Volkov, estate unknown. Estate unknown, estate unknown, abandonment, uh, awarded, exceptional rewards and wages, pension funds, uh, wages and reward, wages, wages and rewards, mutiny and fines. Okay. And let's see. A preliminary draft of this assessment has been approved by Royal Trade Guarantor. Okay. On behalf of the Honorable East India Company, I certify all statements as accurate and declare this matter closed in its entirety, with a total claim of £29,285. 
the HCI Chief Inspector. Web us. A G. But that isn't the end of it. Because we still have this thing. The pocket watch remains in your possession. The book returns to its original owner, Henry Evans, in Morocco, as requested. And off it goes. <laughs> there. And it's not how much money was made, but how much money was claimed. And one year later, because postal services in the 1900s sucked, or 1800s, I forget when this was, 1700s, 18th century or something. Uh, they were in the 1700s. Cozy little office. Can you believe it? A package at this hour. Oh, the thing smells just dreadful. Better you don't open it inside. I'll be turning in now. Tea's in the kitchen if you need more. Okay, 19th century since the book was made in 1809. Okay. And hello. Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you, along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remain, the Oberdin is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter in our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regards, Jane Bird. Okay, so she's still kicking. And let's see, we have the letter, we have the book, and we have something else. Burrito? I don't think you'll like, you'd like the ingredients of this burrito. Because it's a monkey's paw. Eh, probably worse. And, yeah, since we still have this... What happened to Monkey? There you are. Collect your things. Where's the key? To that door. Gone? Yeah. There's no time. We need to go. Right. Go. What are you up to? Nothing good. Yeah. Henry Evans shot and killed his monkey in here, where there's already someone dead. Yep. Uh, someone, two, some two people dead. And this is where Martin was all this time. Just out of sight of us. But yeah. Martin was also the person who sent us the pocket watch. So he knew exactly what it could do. And he knew that through the monkey, or rather the monkey's paw, he would be able to get someone to return to the scene to learn the truth. Bargain. The last and final chapter. Ooh. Dinner. In the lazarette that was up until now completely sealed off. A friendly but not entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. Here we go. Next up, Martin's fate, who was speared, or spiked more rather. Oh yeah, the creatures got him. A third the shell. The captain didn't toss them all. Leave it. Help me lift this. Shell. Do it! 
hoisting out to the main deck. Throw it over. Lock the door when you leave. Get the tail, boy. getting the mermaids out but he got spiked by it before they could make it clear what they were actually intending with it to set it free and get rid of it and see that sparkle that sparkle we've been seeing in the distance of the ship the entire time it was her yep and yeah alas Marco, who shot my dinner. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Martin Bro. He was... Let's see. Spiked by a terrible beast. But there is yet more of this. One of these things... Captain speared it. Yeah, this this took place during the doom. Because the Kraken was still attacking the ship, tearing everything apart. And yeah. Captain did say that he managed to drive it off somehow, and he did so by threatening and killing the mermaids. Yet another death of a rather shiny shell. Or with a rather shiny shell. Good. Yeah. A captured beast fought against the jailer and was speared for the trouble. Nope. Yep, he didn't start with that one. He finished with it. This is your Kraken! You've brought it here! Send it back! Next question... How... well... We know this chest. And we know what happened last time they opened it. And yeah, now we know... How they actually got rid of the Kraken. Because I'm pretty sure if the captain had not done this, this ship would have been at the bottom of the sea. Well, it is there now, but it would have been a lot earlier. Yeah, but it also means the Kraken was trying to free them. Yep. Wait, doesn't Part that two? mean that the captain technically committed a war crime? Technically. Let's see, by our modern standards. Of this age, I don't know if he broke any uh, laws, especially seeing as these are, well, sea monsters, not humans. And unholy creatures defined uh, shrieks were greeted with a fatal bullet. One more to go. Locks. What's this? Quicksilver. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I 
I'm pretty sure that Quicksilver was the old name for Mercury. It's stealing you, say the other name. But yeah, he, like uh, one of the other people who opened up the chest, burns. Okay, this is really still called the Quick Silver. This means Quicksilver. So yeah, he. Oh, he. Wait, he was already tied up here. Okay. Ah, this is the stewards. The captain stewards. Yep, Philip Dahl. You burned to death because you could not contain your greed. Well done, all fates correct. And that is the tale of all 60, 61 fates aboard the Overdin. Did no quick see you burnt? Finally, this blasted door is open, but only in memory. Let's see, Marco. The captain did not commit a war crime. By today's standards, it's not a war crime since it's fiction. <laughs> Would you the same? Uh. And yeah, with that, it is all solved. And this can go along with the other tales to tell. The end. <laughs> yeah, this this Thank is a more? really good game. Frustrating yeah. at times. Yep. Programming design it for my dad. Okay. Special thanks to Keiko Koda Taiwanese Language Consulting. Okay. Uh, for the Formosan people, localization management, German localization, French localization, words of magic. Okay. Uh, not even going to attempt that. Katarina Florinskia. Uh, Keiko again. Italian. Block that team. Let's see. Does it say the voice actors here anywhere? Hmm. I I'm guessing the localization people uh, provided the voice acting for most of these. I'm guessing. Let's see. Ukrainian localization. Arabic, or Arabic. Oh, wait, I think these are called uh, Arabic. Subtitles. Uh, oh, here text. we go. Rob Townsend, Cameron Nikans, Jeffrey Pillars, New Falls Week, Callan McElife, James McCready, Chris Sharps, Nick Smith, Brian Stivale. Joshua Nicholson, Martin Halland, Ryan Lofton, so, uh, okay, uh, I, Ian Russell, Piotr Adamsik, Finnegan Morris, so it wasn't the localization that provided Luis Alberto Avicerdo, Michael Drew, Kiran Patil, Debbie McCready, okay, what? Related to the other McCready, Ying Chun Shi Tan Lung Shao, Yu Fi Lin, Jed Jai Lin, Tim Simmons, I am never good with Eastern names, Michelle Kruise, Krusik, Nikita Ordinsky, Duncan Lawrence, Seamus Malley, Michael Van Steinweg, Steinweg, Van Steinweg, Brent McKay, and two voices for that one, Luke Marty, Stephen Fu, Joshua Nicholson, Chris McCann, and additional voices for the boat puller, housekeeper, and investigator. Uh, ta -ta -ta. And 
Yeah, but that was two names that he investigated, because when I originally played this game, it, it was with a, a male voice. But this time, even though we only had like a bit of dialogue at the start, it was a female voice. Yeah. Just that so it I, did updates. Yeah. I guess it is just randomly selected which voice it is. I'm pretty sure this game came out earlier than 2002, so yeah, there, it definitely has been getting updates. And yeah, that ha was the return of the Oberdin. Yeah, yes. I hope they do new games like this. Yeah, I really do as well. Uh, they have a good universe going on here. Yeah, and there were plenty more of uh, there were plenty more uh, souvenirs, you could say, on the shelf there as well. So yeah. perhaps they could do something similar with all of those. Hmm. Or yeah, maybe it sequels. I'm gonna say this. I was very big going into this. I was thinking, oh, right, this will be interesting. I didn't expect too much, but when we saw the crack game, I thought, all right, I thought they do more, but we have if they do more. And what do they do? They do more. Yeah. <laughs> Mermaids and storms. And yeah, that is how the Oberdin the returns. The, the mermaid keep, kept her part of the promise uh, and sent the Oberdin back home. Though they did not ensure that it would stay home intact since, well, the storm sank it. <laughs> yeah, but still, like, I really hope they do more for having all the monsters uh all that. When you try to investigate, you realize, yeah, this is not a normal situation. Definitely, yeah. Okay. And let's see, chat. Uh, oh yeah, pardon. Uh, Marco, right next to the tail of the statue of Ban <laughs> Banjavis uh, July, whatever that would be. And uh, I wish they make a sequel or something. I, I, I really look forward to whatever they make next. Uh, let me check Steam. I don't think they have done anything since, or yet, is more likely the wording. So let me just pick this up. Uh, Oberdin. There. Nope, space. There, Return of the Overdin. Soundtrack is sold separately. Okay, the publisher was 390 Neng. Okay, developer Lucas Pope. And they only have... Oh, oh, hello. They have two games under their belt. Return of the Overdin, which is currently on sale, 40% no, off. And the other game is Papers, Please. Wait, what? Yep. <laughs> and let's see. There was five years between Papers, Please and Return of the Overdin. And it was originally released in 2018. So, if they work on a game for like every five, six years or so, we could be seeing another game released uh, this year or next year, perhaps. I sure hope so. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this one. Just set them to follow. And yeah, they made papers, please. Uh, not really something I plan to stream because there's a lot with that game that is just annoyance and just so many different endings that you could go for. So I would uh, advise people to play that game for themselves. Yeah, and also, let's be honest. How the heck do you co commentate on that? Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to put a link in the chat. So give me a moment to look this up. Let's see. There, there was someone who did a lot better of a job with this, and that would be the YouTuber by the name of Oxhorn. So let me just return of the Overdin Oxhorn. Okay, playlist. There we go. They went into a lot more detail than I ever could have done with this. So if you are interested in the full details that he found in this game, which is 11 videos of about half an hour each, uh, that is, a, yeah, that is, is that actually longer than our, what we've been done, that we've done so far? 
uh, two, four hours, so four hours, five and a half hours. Um, yeah, some of them are short, about 20 minutes. Some even 10 minutes only. Actually, yeah, I think I think he did it in less time than we did with this. Then again, he cut some stuff down. But yeah, if you want a really good cover, uh, a really good playthrough of this game, go watch Oxhorn's playthrough of it. For the Raiders, this will also give you the you know, well. This will also give you the full story of what happened from start to finish, and not just the ending with us. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, but yeah, that went really well. So, yeah, next time we can go, next weekend, we can start with at least one new side game, which will likely be uh, the April Fool's game, The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, just because I'm curious as all hell what that is about, and I, <laughs> I, want, I want you to experience it along with me, Drakir. <laughs> I don't know if I should be happy or in despair. Uh, but, yeah. For now, let's go look for someone to raid. I have already changed the screen share. So do you see anyone in the list here of interest? Let's see. I see uh, Nico Silverado, who is streaming the now delisted game only up. And Nice is streaming Wild Hearts. Okay. Uh, that name is from... Oh, this game, that Monster Hunter-like. Okay, I, I'd heard the decent amount about it before it launched but after it launched it just dropped off the face of the earth so i don't know if it's actually good or not yeah i, I don't be afraid that someone playing this before it might be in her even hmm. uh mm -hmm. it's hmm? what else do we have we have oh hello um halloween with gal guardians demon perch this is this is very obviously castlevania like Oh yeah, I think you recognize this one. This one may actually be released recently. Alright. This is the first time I've heard of it, and yeah, it is very, very much uh, Castlevania-like. Yeah, I, uh, I ran into it while watching videos to about the uh, upcoming uh, games on Switch. Okay, we should we should put the Bloodstained sequels or side sequels. Uh, we we streamed Bloodstained Curse, not not Curse, Ritual of the Night uh, through, but there are two more uh, games of that franchise, uh, Curse of the Moon one and two, which is are a lot more retro. And which game are you talking about, Marco? Uh, Gal Guardians or Wild Hearts? I should be looking there when I talk to chat. <laughs> But yeah, let's see anyone else. Uh, a few big names. Uh, Theory Pop is streaming Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life, which is basically Harvest Moon under a new name. Uh, let's see. And Marco has raid suggestions. Live Kitty TV. Okay, I'm going to copy those and take a look. So search. That's not familiar. Okay, they are... Oh, oh, <laughs> it's a live, it's a live stream of a, a catio with kittens. <laughs> okay, it seems they have one mother cat, at least, with a bunch of kittens nursing at the moment. Uh, nice stream, likely, but not our typical stuff. Uh, okay, Marco is talking about the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll pick that up next time with uh, the streams. Um... That second name that you put up, when I copy-pasted that over, it doesn't give anyone who is online at the moment. And then Bonnie C. Draws, who is that? They are they are online at the moment, doing art. Let's see, live 2D upgrades today? Okay. Um, shall we rate Good. them or any of the others, uh, any of the <coughs> channels we are followed at the moment? Do we really rate people that does drawing to Twitch? Not really. I think we've done it once with Nico, but beyond that, not really. Because we typically try to jump from game to game. So, shall we go say hi yeah. to Nice then? Be, well, nice to them. Sure, since... It's a bit weird to rate someone drawing. That's what it feels like you just running and disturb them. 
Yeah. Uh, okay, so slash raid and paste. Oh, wait, not there. Not in their channel. That's not going to work. <laughs> okay. I am going to look up that Gal Guardians one. Uh, let's see, remove the second name. I messed up. Okay, yeah, they, they're not online at the moment, Marco. So we can't really raid them. All right. Uh, so slash raids. Nice. And yeah, done with Return of the Oprah Din. Next weekend, we will get started then on the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, just to see what that is up to. I don't know how long that could be. It could be really short, could be really long. Uh, but I think from what I've heard, it is pun all the way through. It's probably mm. short as it's an E plus Fools game. True, and it ha the main reason I actually want to play it is because one of my favorite Sonic characters is in that game. Uh, someone who has rarely made appearances, Blaze the Cat. <laughs> Rogue? No, that would be Rouge. That's the bat. Rouge. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow oh. we will have our showcase Sunday, uh, where we will try out some games, see if they're any good for streaming later. Indivisible should work for it now. Uh, apparently it was some sort of anti-aliasing issue that was causing the sprites and voice acting to not pop up. Strange to have that tied to anti-aliasing for some reason. But yeah. And in the evening, we have an open space. We could continue with uh, Katana Zero, likely finish that off, or maybe start something new with uh, extra co-commentator Ron Royal. And maybe someone else as well. Yeah, we have to see tomorrow. I'm not sure which one we do to myself. Yeah, we'll see. But for now, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you all again, of course. And yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, let's start the raids. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for sea monsters. <laughs> Definitely. Green <laughs> uh... deck. <laughs> I said it too. <laughs> <laughs>